everyone knows Blake Lively as Hollywood's darling. From her breakout role as Serena Vander Woodson on Gossip Girl to her picture-perfect marriage to Ryan Reynolds, she was one of the most loved celebrities in the industry. She was charming, beautiful, talented, and honestly, just seemed like someone you'd want to be friends with. But how did she go from America's sweetheart to one of the most criticized women on the internet? And even more shocking, destroy four brands in just one month? Stick around, and let's dive into this wild fall from grace. What has been the best part in making this particular movie? Um, I've noticed so many beautiful uh, crystals on teeth. Is that a big fashion thing? We is that a big fashion thing? We did it yes. for you! <laughs> I mean, what, what is the next what five does that years? Mean? Of, well, in terms of trying, I mean, you, you apparently you're not going to sing if you <laughs> didn't I did. think you can sing. I sang but, in this movie. Well, did you yeah. see the movie? I did see the movie. <laughs> but I mean... Let's start with the good stuff. Why did everyone love Blake Lively? Well, for one, she seemed genuinely likable. From her interviews to her social media presence, she came across as funny, relatable, and humble. She wasn't just another Hollywood starlet, she was different. On top of that, her relationship with Ryan Reynolds felt like hash couple goals for millions of people. They're hilarious together, constantly poking fun at each other in the most adorable way. And let's not forget her talent. Blake had a reputation for being both beautiful and talented, starring in major films like The Age of Adeline, A Simple Favor, and The Shallows. Her role in Gossip Girl basically defined a generation's teenage years. And to top it all off, she's an entrepreneur with a hair care line and an alcohol brand. So what could possibly go wrong? The first domino. It ends with us. The first domino to fall in Blake's public image was her involvement in the film adaptation of It Ends With Us. Now, if you haven't read the book, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover is a heavy emotional story that deals with domestic violence and trauma. It's not your average lighthearted romance. It's dark, raw, and leaves you thinking for days after. When fans heard that Blake would be starring in the movie, there was excitement. But here's where things went off the rails. Instead of approaching the press tour with the gravity this kind of story deserves, Blake turned it into something completely different. The promotion felt more like a rom-com than a deep emotional drama. Blake showed up to interviews in floral dresses, smiling and joking, and even encouraged fans to grab your friends, wear your florals, and head to the theater. It Ends With Us is in theaters now, so grab your friends, wear your florals. People were left thinking, Wait, is this a fun girls' night out movie or are we watching something about domestic abuse? It was totally off tone, and fans quickly called her out for not reading the room. The film's core message was completely overshadowed by Blake's fashion and bubbly attitude, which made it seem like she wasn't taking the story seriously at all. The branding disaster. But it wasn't just the film that took a hit, Blake's entire brand was at stake. Around the same time as the press tour for It Ends With Us, Blake launched not one but two brands, her alcohol line, Betty Buzz, and her new hair care line. Now, here's where things get really messy. Blake has publicly said before that she doesn't drink, so her launching an alcohol brand felt a little… off. Fans were quick to point out that it seemed inauthentic, like she was just jumping on the celebrity liquor bandwagon because, let's be honest, it's the thing to do these days. When you've got stars like Kendall Jenner, Kate Hudson, and even George Clooney launching tequila or wine brands, it felt like Blake just wanted a slice of that cash pie. But the worst part, she hosted an event promoting her alcohol during the It Ends With Us press tour. At the same time, she was promoting a film about domestic violence. This didn't sit well with fans or critics. It was seen as completely tone deaf, with many people calling her out for using a sensitive subject like abuse to promote her own products. And here's the thing, alcohol and domestic violence don't mix, and the timing of this just made Blake seem incredibly out of touch. It felt like she was more interested in using the movie for personal gain than in respecting its message. Interviews? That backfired. If the press tour and product launches weren't enough, Blake's interviews during this time were another huge misstep. In several interviews, she came off as distant and even rude. She dodged questions about the film's deeper themes, like domestic violence, and instead steered the conversation back to herself, her clothes, her hair care brand, her husband, Ryan Reynolds. 
fans noticed, and the internet was quick to point out that Blake seemed self-centered and more concerned with promoting her personal brand than actually discussing the important topics at hand. One particularly bad moment was when an interviewer congratulated her on her pregnancy. Blake responded with a flippant, congrats on your little bump, which seemed completely disconnected from the interview's flow. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Congrats on your little bump. <laughs> what about my bump? It wasn't just this one interview. Her behavior across multiple interviews was criticized as being dismissive and tone deaf. The Blake that fans used to love, charming, relatable, and sweet, was nowhere to be found. The fallout, damaging four brands. So what was the result of all this? Blake's actions didn't just hurt her personal image, they damaged multiple brands. Let's break it down. First, her personal brand took a major hit. The public perception of Blake as a sweet, down-to-earth star was shattered. She started coming off as disconnected, self-absorbed, and frankly, out of touch with reality. Next, her hair care line, which had just launched, was dragged down by negative reviews. Fans who bought her products started posting that they were unhappy with the quality and the timing of the launch, with It Ends With Us, felt like another misstep. People accused her of using the movie to promote her brand, and many stopped supporting her because of that. Then, there's her alcohol line. Blake's fans knew she didn't drink, so promoting alcohol felt hypocritical. Add in the fact that she was launching it during a movie about domestic abuse, that's a PR nightmare. Lastly, the It Ends With Us movie itself took a hit. What was supposed to be an important film about a tough topic became overshadowed by Blake's tone-deaf promotion. The film didn't receive the attention it deserved for its message, and instead, much of the conversation was focused on Blake's mishandling of the press tour. Can Blake come back from this? The big question now is, can Blake Lively bounce back from this? She's been a beloved figure in Hollywood for nearly two decades, but this recent string of missteps has definitely tarnished her image. To recover, Blake will need to show some serious self-awareness and humility. Fans are looking for authenticity, and if Blake can't show that, it's going to be hard for her to regain the public's trust. That said, Hollywood loves a comeback story. If Blake can own up to her mistakes, refocus on her career, and stop pushing products at every turn, she could rebuild her reputation. But the Blake Lively that fans once saw as a relatable, lovable figure may never come back. The internet is quick to criticize. And in the age of social media, missteps like this are hard to erase. So what do you think? Is Blake Lively's reputation permanently damaged, or do you think she can redeem herself? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.